Oh, good morning, this is Mr. Cool. Today I'm going to be performing a parasitic uh, draw test on a Volkswagen Jetta 1.6 liter 2006 model. Uh, the issue with this uh, very car is when you leave a battery on before you come back in the morning, if the battery is not up to 12 volts, it's not going to start the car, the remote fob is not going to work. So, uh, let me get you on board and show you some of the things I see which is very, very surprising. Okay, first of all, I've set my multimeter to, let me get this thing to focus, okay, to amp reading, to its amperage, so, uh, with the negative uh, terminal disconnected i already have an alligator clip to it which i attach to the positive side of my probe after setting the readings to um so the next thing which i'm going to be doing is uh showing you what i found out here and uh, so you can know what to look out for when you're having this problem so the fuses that i find that are corporate seem to be this 15 and this and this one here if you look at it very well that is actually the fuse that's responsible for the ecu so the other corporate i found is on the inside okay the next corporate i found out is this uh, 20 amp fuse the you count third from the left the first big uh, fuse on the first row that is uh, that one that very fuse there controls the central locking so let me go to the multimeter and show you what's actually going on so you, you'll be able to follow along if you're having this problem although we have actually checked she was telling me that uh, they changed the radio of recently which they electrician actually wired it directly to the battery i mean wired it to give uh, get a constant power even with ignition on or off so at that i'm going to check it and get the uh, wiring back to the uh, ignition so that when you put on the ignition on that is when the radio is going to receive power when you put off the ignition the radio is not going to get a power okay so let's get to the hood and continue okay with my multimeter set to this reading i have a old battery terminal which i want to use in order to allow this to make a firm contact with the negative part of this battery you can hear it now one other thing which i want you guys to understand is uh, there is a strange noise i'm hearing but it seems like it's normal for uh, uh, Mercedes and some of the German cars listen very carefully you're gonna hear the compressor click as soon as I touch the negative uh, probe as soon as I touch this negative probe here you're gonna hear the compressor clutch click so listen you can hear that but I did check it later and uh, it doesn't seem it's drawing any power so let me put it back so you can see the reading I'm getting you can see it here I'm not getting it enough okay so I'm getting one point uh, 1.4 1.5 previously was getting like 1.5 but 1.4 you can see how it's going it's not shaking so the system is uh, something i i can't uh i really don't understand look at it going so crazy that way all right now as for the hood which i open i have actually locked here and as for the door i've also also locked the door latch so you can see the reading i'm getting here so that's one of the strangest thing i've seen so far uh mind you i've also put a scan tool on this car to pull some code and I'm getting codes of ECU on it. So I did make a research and the Rostec company was saying that if you be able to find the code, if the code appear any other place aside the ECU section, 
it means the ECU have a problem and need a replacement. But if the code appears only on the ECU block, listen again, if the code, if you use a scan tool to scan it and it's showing you ECU code in some other modules that is not the ECM, uh, ECM modules section, it means uh, you, you can just ignore it, but if it is just on the ECU, if you scan just the ECU, the electronic control module, and that is where you find that uh, fourth code, that uh, DTC, then that ECU need a replacement. It means that ECU is faulty. Then apparently right now, the ECU runs fine uh, with the fuel management, everything, starting up the car, it won't kick one start right away without even wasting any time. But when it comes to this, uh, this uh, huge uh, parasitic draw test is a very, very big uh, problem. So right now I am running out of options. My customer is uh, also uh, being in a hurry because right now I am, I don't really know what I'm going to do next aside going to get a used uh, ECU because down here we can get a brand new ECU to to um to code it in to work with this car so it's a used one and i'm a little bit skeptical because if we should be able to get a new one sorry used one and we code it and it doesn't the problem didn't go away what's going to happen what if it has another problem do i'm going to eliminate that so right now let me show you why i'm making these videos some other times when you're performing a parasitic draw test or battery drain test on a Volkswagen uh, Jetta or Volkswagen model you shouldn't forget the ECU okay so this like I told you this 30 amp fuse here as soon as I remove it I want you to watch here closely you can see the power dropping to 1.8 so I think that's the problem I have that is virtually the problem I have with this system it goes back to 600 but it's not gonna stay that way can you see that okay so if I go inside the inside and pull out the fuse that controls the um, I control the central door locking it drops more again so let me go there and pull it and show you the reading I'm gonna be getting so you shouldn't ignore this two part when you are making your diagnosis a lot of people pointed the alternator I've actually performed a test on the alternator and uh, the diode actually passed the test but right here you can see that one of my in fact the biggest nightmare i have here that is pulling 1.1.4 1 1.4 1 amp yeah like 1.3 amp from constantly from the battery is the ecu so it's a dead giveaway that the ecu is actually one of the nightmare this car is having so you can still see it is still is uh, irregular so the second one that I'm talking about is the central door locking, automatic door locking. So let me go show you that quickly. So and pull it off so you can ride along with me. Like I earlier told you, this one here, if the first uh, big fuse on the first row, if you count from your left, the third one there is your central uh, lock that controls this. You can hear the sound as soon as I pressed it. So. Okay, I gotta get it off. I don't have my plier here. Okay, so let me go to the other side and show you what. Okay, you can see the reading I'm getting right now. I don't know if you can see it, but this is uh, one, 107. You can see it right there. I think it, it, it will still drop. It takes some little bit of time. Then one other fuse also, I also find a culprit within this uh, circuit is this 15 fuse. I've forgotten that, uh, I think I, I checked the bulletin, sorry, the um, wiring diagram, uh, fuse diagram. It was, it gave me some kind of hint that I think it's one of the uh, cluster gauge. Yes, the cluster. Just look at what happens immediately when I pull off that fuse. So the cluster, and I also did remember that the cluster gauge also uh was uh, had an error code about the cluster so don't forget the cluster the ecu and the central door central door automatic locking on the volkswagen model when you're looking for battery drain issue 
and also a radio that any maybe mechanic uh, might have wired to work with the battery directly without the uh, authorization of the ignition being on or off so okay guys if this help you to solve your problem or to narrow down the, your issue to to solving it give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel share with your friends and uh, comment if you have any further question about VW models or some other car issues I hope to see you some other time bye for now